Gold looking to catch a break this Tuesday and move higher this first week of August. We have Bill Baruch of II Trader joining us now. Bill, good to have you back on Kitco News. Thanks for having me on again. Well, Bill, let's start by pulling up that gold chart. Gold not being able to close above 1100 since July 21st. We've had poor economic data come out, so why can't gold hold a rally here? Well, the U.S. is still the best house on a bad block. So the dollar is remaining strong despite the poor data. The ECI data on Friday was bad. Manufacturing data on Monday was bad. But it, it's, it's U.S., the best house in the bad block. Inflation is next to zero, though it is stabilizing. And, of course, the looming rate hike. And speaking about the rate hike, Bill, do you think gold even cares when it happens and if it happens, whether it's September, December, or next year? Has it already been priced into the equation here? It really has. I mean, gold at these levels and the way it's been subdued, every single rally has been subdued, just shows you the sellers are there and they're already pricing in the rate hike. They don't care if it's coming uh, in September, December or next year. If you're holding big positions, you have to plan six, nine months, even 18 months out. And that's what those guys are looking at. Now, Bill, I know one thing you've said is that the short side has become too crowded here. One thing that could be in favor for the gold bulls. Exactly. The, the short specs are, or the, the, uh, the small specs are short for the, really the first time ever. You're seeing big specs, uh, large specs, they, they're at the lowest uh, long position they've ever had. So they've already been dumping and selling that long position down to where it is. And the most interesting thing, the commercials, who are always short, are now next to neutral. So this is showing a change in tide that's actually a bullish signal for the metal. And what about this Friday's jobs report, Bill? How impactful could this be for the metal? It's going to be huge. There's two reports before the mid-September meeting. So we have this one that's on the heels of all the bad economic data we've had. Our line in the sand is 200,000 jobs created. And uh, the non-farm payroll expectation number is right around 223. So you want, to, you want to see a better number than that uh, for the dollar to excel and really seal a rate hike in September. Uh, but if we start, if we miss that, and if we fall below 200,000 jobs created, look for gold to get out above 1110 and then uh, hit that 1130 area uh, as shorts look to start covering. All right, Bill. So to recap, the key levels that you're looking at for gold. Gold on the downside, the 1080, and our, our long-term downside target has been about 1035, 1042. So we've come pretty close to that. Below there, obviously, psychologically, uh, 1000. But above the, uh, is 1110. Now, the shorts will be able to stay, and they've been able to hold this position and defend it uh, until the market can get out above 1110. If it gets out above there, shorts will cover, and we'll look for a run to about 1135. That's the 382, as well as where the market broke down from. All right, Bill, finally, let's pull up that silver chart. Prices are in a two and a half month old downtrend. Silver also hit an overnight low Monday night. What are you seeing here on the metal front? Well, we're looking at a close below the 1449 level. As long as silver can stay above there, then the market will be able to, or the bulls will be able to defend it. However, looking back to November, the front month contract traded as low as 1410. So there is some space down there for the market to go lower. Uh, but on the upside, we look at the 50 day moving average. This is something that we've been looking at for years. Silver stays above or below that. You've probably heard me say this previous times I've been on. Silver stays above or below the 50 day moving average for extended periods of time. That comes in about 15. 1556, which ironically aligns with the 1558 382 level. So if the market breaks out and starts running, look for the to gravitate to, towards that level. Good thoughts from you today, Bill. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And thanks for watching this edition of the Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.